the power. This back. Alright, this is a little short tutorial on how you use short circuit here. So short circuit has been around for a long time. I've used it for a long time. I just haven't done a video on this yet. You know, it's not something that I use too often because this really isn't a style of producing that I do very often with sampling, but I'm gonna show you how this works a little bit. So we open up short circuit, regardless of what DAW that you're using it in, regardless of if it's LMMS or whatever you use, it's gonna look like this. And wait, did you get uh, samples in here? You're just gonna click on load, of course. Then it's gonna bring up your folder with your samples in it. You got pre-prepared recordings of some samples. Then once you get your samples in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click learn all. I'm using this MIDI keyboard here that you see on the bottom of the screen. So then once you do this, you're gonna come back over here once you got your MIDI keyboard set up. You can do it with your regular keyboard too. You know, it's gonna depend on exactly your setup. But me, since I'm using MIDI, I'm gonna use my MIDI keyboard to do it. Click on learn all. Push the bottom key of your keyboard. All right. So then we got some different options here. If you look right here, where it says forward, that's pretty self-explanatory. This just means it's gonna play it forwards. I'm just gonna find an arbitrary point here to use it. So if you right-click on the actual area here, where you see the sound waves, you can right-click. And then you have set zone start. You'll see all this over here is grayed out. Right here is where it's going to begin. And of course, you can trim it if you would like. You can use these little arrows over here to zoom in. See what I'm saying? So you kind of trim it. You get you can get even closer to that if you want to really get it accurate, like so. Which is important for sampling. So for our purposes, I'm gonna put the zone in over here right now just to begin. Then so you see how forward works. You got filters you can play with. You know, you know this is pretty self-explanatory. Low pass filters, high pass, band pass, all this other stuff. So you know you can play with those if you like. You got two of them on here. Over here, this lets you adjust, of course. You know the audio of it. That's pretty self-explanatory as well. Down here, the voice mode, same thing. That's pretty explanatory. You know these are basically all your special effects. Yeah, that's what it does, but yeah, like I said, I'm not going to really use this myself. I don't really want to use that for my purposes, but it's there if you want to use it. So now let me show you some of the other tricks here, too. Of course, if you would like to, what you could do is, you go in here, you can have more than one sample. If you want to do something different, you know, you have that as an option. You can actually go in, click on here. So you see this is bank one, you can go to bank two load you bring in a totally different sample if you want do what you could do if you want to do it this way you can click on learn all and put it on a different key so this key is going to do that sample then when i just load it in this key is going to do this one if i could see where it's beginning at Yeah, MIDI channel. You gotta watch that too where it says MIDI channel. Make sure that this is correct. And then so on and so forth. You can do this. It has up to 16. So you can have up to 16 different individual samples if you want to do it that way. So that's one option. So for say you have like drums or some type of an instrument that you got 16 different samples of. You can do it this way. Then, of course, you just right click on it. It gives you all these pretty self explanatory things here. Move, 
reset, which is going to take all the samples and settings you have out of let you start from scratch, clone. I'm just going to click remove because I just want to work on the first one that we have here. So you double click on that and bring the screen up. Let me show you some of the other things that you can do. You got loop. So you can hear it just looped itself over because I just kept holding the key down. So that's how that works. Then forward loop crossfade. That's pretty self-explanatory. These things are all self-explanatory. How those work. Forward shot. That means that when you press it, it's just going to keep going. I'm not going to show you how to do that because this is pretty long and I don't want to sit here for this to finish up. But the one I'm going to show you that not a lot of people show you with slice. Of course, here on release, reverse shot, those are all pretty explanatory. Reverse, it plays the sample backwards. Reverse shot plays the whole thing backwards. But I'm going to show you sliced because this is one that I haven't seen anybody really talk about yet. So this is what you would want to do if you want to actually do like a soul sample with this. So we're going to go in. You see it gives you this right line right here in this right box. The right box is where it begins at. So the way that you're going to do it here, if you want to go across your whole keyboard, you're just going to click this little L. The L stands for learn on high key. Go to the top key on your keyboard, drum pad, whatever you're using. You can scan in on it like this to where you want the sample to begin. So this is on the first key, which is C0. So I go like this. So then what I can do is... I can right click and you're going to put in split slice. It is automatically. See what I'm doing here? So now this is, it goes to the next key where the second little box is. Now I can keep going. I can right click it again and do it again. Split slice. Same thing. I can keep going if I want. Keep on going. Yeah, so that's pretty much it how this works. So as you can see from here, you can kind of go in and make up your own little patterns with it. This is in no way meant to show off, you know, my beat making skills on this particular video, but you know, there's more just a demonstration of what this is capable of. So yeah, definitely, you know, go ahead and get Short Circuit. I believe you can still download this for free from the people who make it. And it's a really great sampler. It's very underrated. I definitely do recommend you give it a try. If you got MLMMS specifically, and you have the ability to use a VST plugin with it, I would recommend it because this is the best way to get into sampling, especially if you want to be able to chop up samples like this. So this is just a quick little tutorial to show you how to do that. So yeah, definitely hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer any questions about how this software works if you have any. Then, you know, I definitely hope that you use this to make some dope music.